now welcome back everyone again now in this lecture we will be preparing the web project for the unit testing so what i will do is i will browse to the microsoft repository and learn how to clone the sample code from microsoft github repository to use in this lecture and prepare a visual studio solution in visual studio 2019 community version with the sample projects cloned and i will run the main project because we'll have two projects one is for the test and another is the main project to check the main project's functionalities before unit testing the controllers and that we will be doing in the next lecture in the third part so if you like my videos please share and subscribe with your friends and click on the bell no notification icon so that whenever i post a fresh video you will be instantly notified okay so let's switch over to the github repository Now, I'll have to make a beginning somewhere, right? So I have to create a test project and a unit test project. So I have chosen the Microsoft repository for this purpose, which is ideal. So I'll get, I will clone this GitHub repository by going to the root of this master and click on code and I will copy this to clone it. Okay, so I have said i mean i have enumerated the i have uh, enlisted the entire project in my earlier lecture on i think state management or somewhere in this playlist in the asp.net code 3.1 playlist but i am happy to repeat the process again so that you those of you who have missed that lecture can still learn okay so what i will do is that this is my uh, directory where i would create the project you know where I will save the project so I will what I will do I will click on git bash here now git bash is a tool for um, helping this is a command line interface tool um, and there are other versions which are UI so I have chosen this because I am now uh, somewhat aware of the things so what I will do I can tell you in some other time how to get to the git bash tool but you can just google search for git bash and it will get you to the right uh, choice you know right uh, results so let's start without wasting any more time so git clone and i have copied it from the repository as i've showed and then i will click on enter all right so now it is cloning and it takes quite a bit of a time to clone everything okay so i will come back when the process is gets completed okay in the meanwhile, you can see that it is giving you all the updates of cloning the project on the git bash. So I'll be with you in a second when the process is complete and then start telling you the next step. Now, finally, after a couple of minutes, the project cloning is complete. So I've got this ASP.NET Code.docs and if I double click, it will take me to the this folder out of all those other folders and this is the necessary folder that we will be working on so ASP.NET Core and we have got this MVC and we have got all of this advanced compatibility controllers so I will go for because this lecture is about controller testing so I will click on controller and then testing and these are all the samples and 3.x is 3.x um, is the version of ASP.NET Core and earlier it was 2.x now it is 3.x that is 3.0 and it is applicable for 3.1 or probably 3.2 if it is available so let's see how to include them in the project okay so these are the source this is the source and within the source folder you you see that there is a cs project the project file named testing controller sample all right and similarly there is another project file in uh, this level for the tests okay so in this folder testing controller sample dot test you got a test project testing controller sample dot test dot cs project so i will go back to the this level and what we will go do is the next step will be to switch over to visual studio so for that purpose i will click on visual studio So 
so visual studio so as you can see that i have got visual studio 2019 open in front of me and i will click on continue without code okay so when i continue without code it just straight away opens and then what i will do is file new um or open open a project or a solution because as i showed to you that i have got already the projects cloned from the github repository so now it brings me to this uh, uh, path testing controller sample and i am on the source okay so one level up is the source folder source and tests so i will go for the source and testing controller sample okay so i will double click on this solution so this solution now has got this testing controller sample project now i have previously while testing i have already created the solution while uh, the project was loaded in by following this procedure so the solution was now saved and it has seen that solution so and that solution has already this testing controller sample now right click again and i will add the test project so existing project and go back to this testing controller sample and tests and testing controller sample dot within this folder testing controller sample dot test i have got this testing controller sample dot test dot cs project okay so i will take that right so both of these projects are a part of my solution now this is already made as a startup project so if i double click uh, if i just uh, try to run this application let's see what happens click on this iis express icon yuppie you have got on this localhost this port number you have got this project right in front of you brainstorm sessions okay so already one session was test session was created and let me tell you that this project will be is built on uh, in memory collection you know in memory um, the database is there is no external database like sql server or local uh, database but microsoft has chosen this sample to be running on the in memory collection okay in memory database so let's try out a few things new session name let me give another session uh, the test session one new session name uh, let's give it uh, my session something like this save and uh, this is already saved and okay so one idea is now within this session you can give uh, there was already idea count awesome idea and totally awesome idea you can give another idea uh, say a website redesign idea let's write whatever you'd like the idea to redesign my website okay correct so what is this there is a typo small one okay so click on save so this is all saved for you and you can return home this is your home so you have created your session and you have added uh, to the test session there was one idea and you have um, created another idea i think you can create another idea on this my session yeah this you can idea name test description test idea okay so there you go we have already tested now we we'll leave at that so now we have created our test project and added the unit test project as well and i have shown you what happens and next time we'll come back and test the unit controllers you know like home controller and another controller session controller probably okay thank you and if you like my channel if you like my videos please subscribe to uh, get more updates and 
share the channel and put your comments and likes and even dislikes. Thank you very much.